Snapping their three-month selling spree, foreign portfolio investors or FPIs have turned net buyers of Indian equities so far in January 2022. As of January 13, our foreign counterparts were net buyers of Indian securities worth $479 million, including equities worth $434 million. With this, India remains among the top five emerging markets where FPIs have invested this year. Data provided by Bloomberg shows that India was among the two countries that saw net FPI outflows for three consecutive months ending December 2021, while outflows from Indian equities totaled a massive $4,769 million during this period, net outflows from South Africa were $3,536 million. For the full calendar year of 2021, foreign portfolio investors pumped in 50,089 crore rupees in India. Their investment, however, is much less compared to the net inflows of $1.03 trillion in 2020 and $1.35 trillion in 2019. These street experts point that discomfort with valuations, concerns about the monetary policy support and the rampant spread of the Omicron variant of coronavirus led to aggressive selling. Besides, record high levels touched by the benchmarks in mid-October also gave FPIs a good reason to book out. Let's go to UR Bhatt, co-founder and director at Alphanity Fintech to know more. So if you see the calendar year 2021, um, FIA net sell was 24,500 crores and IPO, FIA IPO and OFS put together is 80,320. So it is largely because of IPO participation that it looks like as if it was a good year. But not as well. In the secondary market, they have been reasonably big sellers. They, they seem to be interested in participating in um, the new age um, sort of issues which have been uh, dominant in the uh, IPO market. Uh, over the last one year. So, uh, they're basically changing the strategy from probably old economy stocks they're selling a bit and creating a balance between old and new economy by participating in the new economy, new economy IPOs. Mm, but if you see the secondary market, they have not been big buyers even in January, they're marginal buyers. Uh, but December, they have um, quite a few of the months in the last year. Secondary market, they have been uh, reasonably consistent sellers. So, I think this is uh, the sort of surmise that they really are bigger investors in IPOs and uh, new age uh, um, uh, sectors rather than the old age ones. As pointed out by Bhart, FPIs have begun buying cheap in the Indian markets, although secondary market buying remains marginal. That apart, the net buying at the beginning of the year is a relative play, believe analysts, as India seems to be managing the Omicron variant rather well. Moreover, the Purchasing Managers Index and the Goods and Services Tax numbers are an indication that the Indian economy is still in the recovery mode, despite the onslaught of the new variant. Hence, if India is able to manage its fiscal and forex situation well, India would stand tall among EM peers despite the rate hikes in developing economies. Given this, Gaurav Dua, head, capital market strategy at Sher Khan by BNP Paribas, believes FII interest will remain intact for India as the country is on an upcycle. In the long term, <coughs> FII inflows depend on the uh, strength of the economy and other macro indicators. In the short term, the FI inflows can be extremely unpredictable. Emerging markets on a, in a global uh, context are, uh, you know, relatively higher risk. So uh, that is why at times uh, after a bout of uh, profit booking from FIIs, you see a couple of days where they uh, where you see some buying interest. Uh, what we believe in this year, uh, 2022, despite the fact that there is going to be normalization of the monetary uh, policy across the world, which can lead to some strengthening in the uh, USD against other, other uh, 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 developed market uh, currencies. Uh, but still, uh, we believe that uh, valuation and the evaluations in India are uh, attractive now. And also, India is uh, probably on a multi-year upcycle, and I think uh, this will keep the uh, the FI interest uh, basically intact in India. Experts expect India to be a relative outperformer than other emerging markets. The union budget and the corporate commentary during the results season, they say, will also guide FPI's outlook on India. From an investment viewpoint, EM investors can look at those plays which are said to benefit from high interest rates. Matthew Rasheter, head of equity strategy research at Julia Baer, for instance, says, 
While we are not worried about the absolute levels of real interest rates at this stage, it is much more about the speed of change in rate levels. As such, it is critical to apply a barbell strategy at this stage incorporating structural winners with stocks that benefit from higher yields and inflation, such as financials. That said, while FII-FPI activity will be one of the key factors determining the market trajectory over the long term, the immediate trends will be set by Q3 results and the union budget. Ultratex Cement, Bajaj Twins, HOL and Reliance Industries are among the prominent companies set to report their earnings this week. Overall, the Nifty 50 is expected to move in the range of 17,650 and 18,500 while the Sensex may quote between 60,400 and 62,050. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.